Welcome back to another very exciting episode of stuff that Jet builds in his garage when he's bored. Uh, today we're looking at a dual battery box uh, that's set up in my 2006 Renault Traffic. The reason for this battery box being installed is I've got a fair few flashing lights on the roof of this van and just want to take the pressure off my starting battery when I've got the engine off and I'm sitting on the side of the road for a few hours and I've got the lights going. Realistically, I am using LED, so the, the drawer isn't probably steep enough to warrant needing one of these unless I'm really going to be there for a while. But obviously, the less pressure I can put on my start battery, the better. So uh, this box is obviously screwed down. It's not going anywhere. It's not loose. Uh, we'll have a look inside. Uh, what we've got in here is uh, actually our old starting battery from this van, um, which is still healthy. It still holds a nice 12.8 volts. Uh, it's a 700 CCA, but it's not a deep cycle, obviously, so it wouldn't be too good at running camping fridges or anything like that. Um, but I've made the box quite large. You can see there's a lot of space here to put uh, an additional, like a, a larger battery in later if I want. And I've just got a couple of bits of blocks of wood down there as well, just holding this so it can't go anywhere. Some nice new terminals and everything. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. So you can see here we've got our, see our battery cables. So our Earthline and our... Um, positive from the uh, main battery, from the starting battery, uh, and then obviously we've got our positive here from uh, our auxiliary battery, and obviously all that is just routed out of the back of the, back of the battery box uh, and where it needs to go. Uh, down the front here, we have our VSR, so this is a programmable VSR. You can pick one of these up from Super Cheap Auto for about 230-ish dollars, less if you've got trade accounts. I think I picked this one up for about 200. Uh, this is a programmable VSR, which makes it a lot more flexible than uh, traditional VSRs, which are uh, obviously a voltage sensing relay, which is uh, uh, designed to switch uh, a bridge between uh, both our starting battery and our auxiliary battery and connect them together. And then when the voltage in this auxiliary battery drops, uh, obviously it disconnects the main battery from it so it can uh, obviously insulate that main battery from, from any drain. The reason that this particular unit is fantastic is not only is it Australian made and not only does it have a five year warranty, which is amazing for me, uh, you can obviously set everything up the way that you want. Um, so you can set the voltages that it turns on, the delay, uh, the voltages it will turn off, and the delay on those, as well as a low voltage alarm, and you can hook that in. Um, also, please, the status of the thing, so whether it's normally open or normally closed, because these have a lot, of, uh, a lot of flexibility. They don't just have to be set up the way that we've set it up here. Um, and that gives you the abilities to uh, decide what voltages it's going to kick on and kick off. Uh, in my case, once the battery drops below, uh, 12.9 uh, this relay uh, separates so that this battery is now insulated from the starting battery and obviously all of my uh, emergency lighting is connected uh, exclusively to this battery so I've actually got a line in here for that uh, which you can see is this this one here um, so there's no connection to the main battery as soon as I hit that main switch this battery is going to drop below 12.9 uh, or should I say the main battery is going to drop below 12.9 momentarily and it's going to switch over to this and keep us on this one. So nice and simple. And this is our little J-Car uh, dual voltimeter. One of these will set you back about 20 bucks, I think. Uh, so obviously we've got our main battery up the top here and our secondary battery voltage, our auxiliary battery voltage on the bottom. Um, I've actually got this gauge wired up at the moment to be constantly on. Uh, I haven't really seen like too much of a drain on the battery. This thing uses like nothing as far as uh, ampage is concerned. Uh, so it's not really going to see uh, a drop in a drop in battery voltage as a result of running this all the time, 24/7. Uh, but we've also got up here, uh, if you can see that on my, oh, I'll zoom in, my control box up there, uh, which controls all my emergency lighting. Uh, you can see the 12.8. That's the secondary battery, and then obviously all the switches that turns everything on and off. And obviously around the side there, we've got our uh, control for the uh, variable message board on the back. Uh, and obviously our um, fuse and all that, but so I've got a I've got a voltage up there, so I can see what my other battery is doing, um, and it's actually quite useful because when you start the vehicle, uh, you'll see obviously that sits at you know say twelve point eight, um, and then when the you know the the ten seconds have elapsed, you'll see that jump up to say thirteen point eight, fourteen point one, uh, as the alternator kicks in and connects to that battery. Now that the VSR has hooked it all up. So pretty cool stuff. Um, it took about a day and a half to fit this all together. Um, obviously I, you know, being an electrician, I can do stuff quite quickly, but I did want to obviously have a bit of a play. Uh, it took forever to route all those wires. Um, believe it or not, uh, Renaults do not like having their wiring tampered with. Uh, and obviously the battery box, uh, the main battery box is under the floor. So you've got to sort of drill holes in the floor as well. So that's 
lots of fun. Uh, but this this box is just just uh, just particle board that I've spray painted, and obviously this is just like uh, automotive carpet. Um, and I got a little chain here to hold it up, and yeah, that's it. That that's my little project. So um, oh, I guess I'll I guess I'll show you why <laughs> why I need one of those. Uh, I'll get out of the van here. Huge amounts of bloom. So obviously up on the back here, you can see we've got a variable message board. Um, we've also got emergency lights on either side, emergency warnings on, on either side of the indicators as well, as long as some floodlights. Uh, I've also got warning lights down here on the uh, rear steps, so those use a little bit, although I think our biggest drawer is definitely those work lights. And then as we come around to the front of the vehicle, we got our uh, Code 3 2700 uh, prism light bar up there, and that's a bit of a drawer as well. So that's pretty much where the, the reasoning comes from it. But yeah, so hopefully you learned something from that, and if you wanna put your own together, don't be afraid to, to play around.